Hello my friends, in this tutorial we will learn how to combine multiple Excel files in a folder into just one file and we will extract the data from one specific cell in a file and create a new column as you can see in this picture. We combine the files in the left into just one, the file in the right. Okay, we will use Power BI and the Power Query tool together with the M language that is included in order to achieve this. Let's go now to Power BI and see how we can uh, manipulate these figures. So we go to get data more and then folder. Okay. And now we can browse or copy the address of the folder. I will show you now the folder. Here it contains these three Excel files and each Excel file has the same structure. Okay, we have the table and here in this part we have the order date. Okay, now back to Power BI. Okay, and now we go to combine and transform data. Now, when we have multiple files to combine, Power BI suggests us what would be the file after which it executes the data. We choose the first file, but we can choose any other because they have all the same structure. We press OK. And now Power BI combine the files and we go to edit the query. Now here in the left pane you see multiple tabs. First we have the transform sample file after which Power BI transform all the files and here you have the final result. Okay, In this moment is not what we want. So we go to the transform sample file to edit it. First, we notice that Power BI automatically promoted headers. Okay, the order report. Remember in Excel, we have this title. This is not what we want. So we go and delete this step. Okay. Now what we can do, we can delete the first row. So we go to remove top rows and choose one. And now we want to extract the value from this cell. We can click, right click, drill down. And we have this value. You see, here in the formula bar, every step is transformed in the M language, which is in the back of the Power Query. So the structure is like this. It first take it, it takes into account the previous step. And then, in this example, the old drill, drill down, what it says is the first row and column 6, the value from the first row, because in Power Query and the M language, the indexation of the rows start with 0, so row 1, column 6. Okay, We could have written directly in the M language this command, but we used drill down. Now we can uh, rename this step to be more meaningful and call it order date. Now that we have it, we can insert a new step and bring back the table. And how we do it? We go to the table, copy the M code and then we go to the new step inserted and instead of the previous step which is order date we put the table okay so we have brought back the table we rename it original table Original table, ok. 
Okay. Now what can we do? We can delete the first two rows. Remove top rows two. And we can now promote the headers because now it is correct to promote them. Okay, so we have region, representative, and total. We can delete the nulls. We go here and unselect null. And now we want to insert a new column where we have the order date. So we go to insert step after and we say like this. We go to add column, custom column, and now we see that we can choose from the available columns in the table, but it's not what we want. We actually want this, the order date, and we will write order, order date. Okay, and now you see that Power Query brought the order date. We rename it order date. And this is what we do in the sample file. We see that in the combined file we have an error, but this error is only because the last step change type is not uh, necessary. Okay, so now we go and close and apply. And we go to see the table that Power BI created. And voila, we have the combined tables with the order date. We can now make some uh, cleaning. We can delete this source name. We can go back to edit query. And here in the combined files, we have this source name column that is added automatically with the name of the initial file. Okay, close and apply. So now we have the clean table. And let's see, next month we add another file to the folder. Let's see what happens. So we go in the folder, we copy the fourth file and go back to Power BI and the only thing we do is refresh data and now a new data should appear. Okay, you see a new data with 5 of October from the fourth file. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.